What's up guys, so today we will be flashing CR Droid latest build which is based on the September security patch. We will go through all the steps, you don't have to worry. And I am currently using YOS which is a HyperOS meme based ROM. Uh, definitely you can use it for daily usage. There are no issues with it. So let's get started with our CR Droid installation. So these are all the files you will need guys. Uh, the CR Droid main file. After that you will need uh, the gaps file because CR Droid comes vanilla and you will need the recovery file and the vendor boot as well Magisk is optional guys, I uh, will flash it after the first boot so it's optional, you may have it or you may not now let's uh, move to fast boot we can do it directly here or you can press the volume down and the power button and it will boot into fast boot let me get my cable so guys I have the cable connected now let's uh, come here this is the first command guys you have to try because you first need to be sure that your device has been detected after that the process will be same as any AOSP recovery but we will go through all the steps. This is the first command guys fast boot flash recovery and then just uh, drag the file from here to here. After that just press enter it will send recovery. After that we need to send the vendor boot as well. As our command is ready now fast boot flash vendor boot then we just uh, drag the vendor boot file. Then just press enter. After it's done we will just reboot to recovery. To do that we will use this command fast boot reboot recovery. Make sure guys you have everything backed up because we will be formatting your data as well so let's wait we will boot into USB recovery just give it some minutes and it will boot guys don't worry and you can see that we have the CR droid recovery here okay now let's go to the next process there are instructions on their site as well and I am reading from here and doing it so I will link this as well so that you can do it from here as well now as it says apply update apply from adb we will be doing that as well as we have just seen we will be clicking on apply update and then apply from adb so we will do that and then uh, we will uh, use the command command guys adb site load after that you just need to drag the room we will just uh, do that right now so guys our command is ready adb site load then we will just drag the cr dot file after that we will just press enter and uh, it will start sending just wait guys uh, yeah yeah it has just started 0% 1% yeah it will take some time guys you just need to wait and here you can see on the phone that installing is written as well ignore this thing that happens because uh, of the this is my third temper glass and this issue is happening on the third one so yeah it will take some time guys you have to be patient it will take some time guys uh, just wait uh, like at 50% it will ask you a pop up on your phone that we want to install additional package you just uh, click on no there after that we will reboot to recovery and we will flash the gaps file so yeah you are getting this pop up to install additional package you need to reboot recovery first do you want to reboot to recovery now just click yes here that will be fine uh, just click yes and it will reboot into recovery I said no in the previous because I thought it will not reboot but it is asking to reboot automatically to recovery so that's nice so we will now reboot into recovery and after that we will flash the same uh, file as uh, the gaps file so just wait for recovery to show up it will take some time and it has shown so yeah we will do same we will uh, do via adb so yeah apply update and uh, via adb we will do that apply update and apply from adb so we will just side load same so we will do via same command adb side load and then just drag the zip uh, it will take some time guys so as you can see gaps file has already started installing so yeah it will uh, need some time uh, after that uh, we will just format data and we will boot yeah it will take some time guys so just be patient and here you can see it's installing as well 32% something like that I think it's faster than Tidal API but as we don't have yet we have to dependent uh, on this anyways so yeah we have no other options I guess my internet will be again ripped today as a monkey just uh, went just now and he will again rip the wire uh, anyways god this guy is now nah, what will I say anyways it's done uh, installation was success so after that we just need to factory reset uh, click on factory reset here and it will show you that uh, you have to format data factory reset click on it and format user data this cannot be undone uh, we will click on format data
okay so i guess uh, we have to reboot to recovery before we can format data so we'll reboot guys to recovery then we can format data so here it is guys uh, reboot to recovery we'll click on it and we'll reboot to recovery so we are in recovery right now guys and we just need to factory reset uh, format data factory reset uh, format data we'll click on format data now you will see that wiping has been completed uh, okay data wipe complete uh, okay i guess it's visible now okay so you cannot uh, wipe uh, the format data before rebooting to recovery so you have to reboot to recovery twice make sure you remember this once after installing the rom for installing apps then second after installing apps to format data after that it's done uh, we'll just click on uh, reboot system now and hopefully we reboot so we have started booting uh, the ci droid logo is up and it will take some time hardly a minute or two to boot up it hardly takes uh, less than a minute so i guess we are done guys the installation process is completed this is how all the steps are uh, but yeah this process does not say uh, this that you have to reboot to recovery again and we are up guys so you can see my device is already being detected it shows redmi turbo 3 for some what reasons it should have been shown poco f6 but anyways that's not a problem so see ya guys peace so guys setup is success i guess uh, face unlock i don't use it so i will not use it uh, setup is done and this is this your droid uh, it doesn't have any of the installed apps just uh, play store and all nothing extras just this google app and uh, Play Store, that's it. The rest all are just fine. And we won't be using the MIUI camera. It is buggy, so we will use uh, Gcam. Uh, let me show you what it is running currently. About phone, Poco F6. Uh, all that, all that, all that. Android 14, CR Droid. 5th September security patch. Vendor uh, patch is August 1, August 2024. That's fine, that's fine. It doesn't, not a problem. Anyways, I have to change this. A lot of things needs to be changed, so... So guys already small this uh, spoof items are already here like the google play integrity spoof then unlock higher fps we will enable it as well uh, we need 90 fps unlimited photo storage spoof netflix spoof netflix spoof i don't uh, think that it will work or not because uh, it uh, just uh, clicks on uh, loading so we'll see about that what we can do and guys this is how you can side load magisk uh, don't rename it to zip else it will not flash you need to be on the side load uh, the interface apply uh, what update from uh, side load something like that and uh, just need to press enter here and it will do its job you can see it's installing here so yeah so magic got installed successfully just uh, after that you just need to reboot and you're done